Hey guys, Ricky here. Welcome back to the John Deere Garage. As you can see, I pulled the fender pan off of my 318. Um, I did this so I could grease the U-joint on the drive shaft where it connects to the transmission pump. The fender pan is sitting right there. Wasn't that hard to get off. All you, gotta, all you gotta do is undo four little bolts, two right there and two up front. Then the tail light wires and the, take the gas cap off. Well, you might not have to, but I like to take it off. So yeah, there's the grease fitting right on top. I'll just put, it, put the grease gun on there. Just push until you hear it click, and then you just start pumping, and wait till you see it start pushing out of the sides. Right there, it's pushing out in the back. Right in there, where it connects to the um, spline shaft on the top. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta wiggle these to get them off there. So yeah, and while this engine is out, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the transmission, which is fine. It just needs new fluid put in it. Because when I, when I would go up a hill with it, it would slow down. And it wouldn't get enough power to the back wheels to push me up the hill fast. And the lever was all the way forward. Meaning to check something. No, it's not there. It must be in the dash tower. I was just looking for that dampener right there. Which, once those get worn out and all the oil comes out of them, it, your tractor starts to get really jumpy when you take off. And once it's like that, you're like, oh, it's time to replace it, so... My tractor is not like that. I was just locating it for the time when it does fail and I do have to replace it. I'm also going to get a new PTO switch because this one, it sticks on. Like if you put it on, it sticks sometimes. Like that time. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the fender pan back on now that I got that greased. The fender pan is starting to wear the coating off of this line, which isn't that hard to replace. You just got to take it off of right here and chase it down underneath the tractor somewhere. I believe that is a transmission fluid line, so it's probably up in this neck of the woods by the wiring harness. Fuel tanks easy to get off, just <clears throat> undo the fuel lines. Just if you ever undo these lines, watch these rubber grommets here because they rip very easy. Might as well check those while I'm under here. Yep, they feel pretty dry, so I ain't gonna screw around with them. But, just undo that, um, and get this mess out of here, and it should just lift right up out of there. See the leakage moving down there. Actuate the drive lever. And I did oil up the brakes so the springs don't squeak like they used to. They used to make a lot of noise. Now they only do it if you like 
don't stomp on the brakes. So, yeah. Can't wait to get this thing done so I can get a review on it. This tractor's gonna be beautiful after I'm done with it. It will have been restored mechanically and cosmetically. And all that white stuff in the vent on the dash tower, the cooling vent, is just old wax. And I've got to get out of there. So, yeah. That was a video of the drive shaft you joint getting greased. Um. Hopefully... You guys don't ever have to replace your U-joints because they're a pain right in the ass to get out of there. Well, not out of the tractor, just disconnected. Just looking at the gas line. Because you can get it out of there and you gotta hit those pins out to get them connected. Disconnected, I mean. These pins right here. They do make a tool for that that punches them out, but... I don't have that tool, so I would have to just hit them out with a hammer, and that is very time consuming. And it is not fun to do it when it's 95 degrees. Where do you live? So, yeah. That's a quick look at the transmission pump, what you can see of it. Sorry, my camera work is trash right now. From right here up, that's what you can see. And the rest of it's like under the tank right here. Um, yeah, so this is a 85 318. And it's got some scuffing on the dash <coughs> tower, but nothing a little touch up paint can't cure. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please, I beg you guys, subscribe. Um, and thank you for 125 views of this thing getting a bath. I really appreciate that. I don't know why so many people watched that, because it wasn't really all that interesting. But yeah, thanks anyway. And we'll catch you in the next video. Alright, have a good one.